to my living room. Uh, we're in lockdown, so um, I'm spending quite a lot of my time out here in the garage. Um, this video I'm doing for um, uh, a couple of people in particular who asked me to do uh, something on slide. I've not done any slide guitar myself for ages, so it's been kind of a, a bit of fun um, getting into it again. I used to play slide a long time ago, but um, so I thought um, I'd do a video based around Elmore James' Dust My Broom because that's the first slide guitar song I ever learned when I was a kid. And it's quite quite a good easy one to to get uh, to get your fingers around. And so what I've done is I broke this video down into different sections so you can scroll through to get to the bit you you want to get to easily. Um, so introduction that's this bit. This video starts easy with um, basic introduction to getting the notes and um, works through to more advanced. And then tuning and then there's a bit on um, bar chords. 12 bar sequences, there's a bit on using the slide and uh, then a bit bottle and fingers so with your spare fingers you can play chords as well. Breaking down those solos which you can play just with, with your finger and then there's another section on um, just some interesting chords that you can get with this tuning that's quite fun. So let's get into it. Okay let's do the tuning. This is an open D which is a typical chord to use for playing with um, a blues bottle. Um, string 6, that's a fat heavy string. That's, that's D, tune down to D. String 5, A, so that's where it normally is. String 4 is D. through that again. Alright. Okay, now you're tuned up. A good place to start is bar chords. So um, this song works like many uh, on um, one four five twelve bar blues system. So one four five meaning the start or the root note is number one. So that's D, and then the four. If you've got a major scale, that's the fourth note in a major scale. Okay, the fifth note is that one. So that's that's A. G, D. Okay, 12 bar blues. Um, that means there's 12 bars, and in this case, a bar or one measure is 1, 2, 3, 4. In Dust My Broom, there's two different patterns of 12 bar, two different kinds of sequence of 12 bars. The first one happens uh, just for the introduction solo and then it switches over to a different pattern. The difference is just in the first four bars, or the first four measures. So this, the first one is like this. So it starts on the, the root, which is open, that's your D. Um, so you have four measures on the D. Um, then you have two on the G, two on the D again, and then one on the A, one on the G, one on the D, and then one back on the A. So, um, that's the 12 bars, and what you can learn is, um, first off, building up strength so, so you can hold down a bar, and then you to toggle one of your fingers, either your third or second finger, um, in this case either two frets up on the fifth string from where the bar is um, so two off and two on so two off and two on that's the simplest way of doing it 
And here I'm only strumming really uh, strings six, five, and four. So you're getting it's the same note, just an octave apart. Um, so that's all you're really hearing. And I'm muting it a little bit with my palm on the um, just on the edge of the um, the bridge there. So it's just muting the strings a little, to, uh, as opposed to it ringing out. It's just muted a bit. You can do. Um, do it that way. So using, uh, in that case, I think it's um, uh, three and four. So uh, running through the whole sequence, it's. Um, I'll just go through the twelve bars so that you can get that in your head. Two. bars. Um, the next thing is to get used to doing that with a bottle on, uh, I suggest, your little finger. The problem you get is it's really easy to uh, crash the bottle or, or the, um, or the, the steel or whatever you've got um, on your neck or onto the, onto the frets and so that's quite a skill. You can get smaller bottles that will just sit on your on your knuckles. So this one's quite large, so it goes right down, um, you know, on, on all my fingers. Oop, apart from that one. Dust my broom without a bottle. So 12th fret, 7th fret, 5th fret, and open. Um, I'll play it and then break it down afterwards. that down that's probably the simplest way you can play it so you start on fret 12 and the notes you want are so everything's on fret 12 apart from there's a roll up coming from uh, fret 11 to fret 12 on string 3 so it toggles between string 1 and 2 yeah and then you go to string 3 and you roll up from fret 11 to fret 12 and then you go to string 4 on fret 12, so it goes, you do it with one finger, and then you go down to fret 5, so there the places you want to be is you're on fret 5 string 2, and then you go down to uh, fret 4 string 3, and run your finger up a fret to uh, fret 5 from 4 and then you go on to string 4 so it goes uh, so there's a sequence one thing you could add is on the same string go down to fret 3 and do a bend so it goes effectively up a semitone. So and then pull off to open. Okay. So then you back up on fret twelve again. And then you're on fret seven. The next bit is your A chord. So that is. So it does that, and then it goes down two frets to the G, and does the same thing. That's the easiest way of playing it. So it's, and then there's that bend again. That's on string four, fret three. Um, the last bit's quite easy to do for beginners. I'll just play it. 
So what happened there is string five, fret three, and you play that, and then you play strings one and two. Then move down to fret two, string five. So there you go, string, uh, sorry, fret eight, a bar there, and then down to seven. So if you've learned that part of the solo with just your, your finger, the introduction solo on, on Dust My Broom, you could add an extra note onto it to make it more authentic. So with, with the bottle it would sound like this. So let's just show how you could play that, where the notes go. Um, this is where I'm playing it with two two or three fingers so it toggles again same as before here's your extra note and then it goes so I'm just bending from fret 11 on string 3 you can do it that way as well same as before but you need an extra finger here I think so to get down to that fret there so it's fret 10 string 1 so I'll just do it slowly. So it's just the same pattern as before, but just adding that note, which is, you know, like the original. So um, on the using slide, uh, the first one, the introduction solo sounds a bit like this. Side of my little finger. Um, important thing is to, to hold it level with the strings. Um, try not to hold it down too hard, just put a tiny bit of pressure on it. Um, and just put a little bit of vibrato um, just to add some expression. You don't have to hold it still. Just um, uh, The good thing about the slide is you can be f quite free floating and add, uh, you know, don't be afraid to. Use 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 more of the fretboard than you would do normally if you're just using your fingers. So um, it's kind of uh, if you if you're beginning, it's a, it's a, a nice one because uh, if your fingers are all busted up with um, uh, with blisters, then you can take the pressure off your fingers for a bit and use a, use a bottle. Because when using a slide, you want to put the slide or the bottle in line with the fret. Um, use a bit of vibrato, don't press down too hard, um, don't put it at, at an angle, keep it in, in, in line with the strings. Um, ideally keep it vertical if you want to hit that, um, if you want to hit a nice chord. Um, this is tuned to a, a, a natural or major, so if you want to play minor chords, um, then you just have to miss out, um, that, um, just hit um just don't hit all of the notes so you can that works in a minor that note makes it a major so um, go through the solo that happens twice so it's totally on string one and two down to uh, on string one to fret 10 then back onto string two fret 12 and then string one fret twelve, and there's a a run up on string three from ten to twelve, and then you hit string four. Then you go down to five, so it's fret five. But there's a run up to fret five, which is your G. So on string three, you come from fret three up to fret five on string three. Then that's on string two on fret five, and then you go down to fret 3 on string uh, string 2 and then as we went up there from uh, fret 3 to fret 5 on uh, with string 3 and then on um, string 4 from fret 3 you just come up one fret 
on the end and then go back to fret 12 for that lick again. And then you're on fret 7, coming to fret 7 from fret 5 on uh, string 3. So that's quite nice. So you go. So that's string 3 coming up from th uh, 5 to 7, and then string 2 on 7 down to fret 5, and then uh, from 3, uh, string 3 from 5 coming up to fret 7 and then string 4, and it's the same lick here and then that, that pull off again, oh it's not pull off, but um, on string 4, uh, just going up a fret like that, and then the end um, is so you can use a, a finger if you want um, so you're going um, from string 5 on fret 3 and then you, you go in between there and, and the uh, string 1 and 2 and then the end bit is so that's up to uh, fret 8 and then down to fret 7 and that's it and the second one just the, the first four bars are different so it goes then up to G and to the D again the end bit uh, which you can put in as opposed to doing uh, uh, you could do uh, if you just wanted to do 12 bars then that's the ending that you might want to use to add a bit of texture instead of just playing bar chords on the A and the G you could add a seventh, so that's a seventh note up on a major scale, that one there, on the A. That's quite easy to do, even with a bottle if you've got your third finger. That's another note you could put in, which is one fret up from the bar on the third string. And the seventh is three notes up, or three frets up, sorry, from the bar. In its simplest form, you could play a solo after the second verse just using a, a couple of strings and one fret. Uh, so I just play it and then break it down. Three, four. stage is adding some bar chords just to accompany the the holes in the solo because it might sound a bit bare and empty if you haven't got anyone to hold the root down like a bass player or, or another rhythm guitar player so what you could do is the same solo but just add some bar chords in behind it so it goes like this It's just putting the bars in between. Um, next stage up involves some chords. So I'm going to sit down for a second. Let's 
try and get through this solo. That's the first bit. So, um, string five and up to fret, fret three. And then open string four. Um, and then, so that's holding down uh, string four, fret three, bending it towards the ground, and then letting go. And then straight after that, getting on to, so that's your finger on um, fret two, string five. So that's just that rhythm for, you know, with a bar chord. Just going straight back onto that rhythm. So I'll do that again. Yeah. And then the next bit is. Um, however, you can stick a chord on top of that, which is this one. So that chord, which you can put on there, is on fret 5, uh, string 6 and string three, those two, and then you can get your finger on fret three, string four, and you can bend it slightly. But you can't bend it too far because you've got your little finger, sorry, you, you've got your, your ring finger um, on string three, so you can't bend it too much. So the only way you can bend it is to actually remove all your fingers, so you can do that. You can play the chord. Just repeat that again. What's happening is I'm actually muting string five um, by holding down that that string six on fret five. Your index is the active note is uh, on string four, fret three. So it's and then the other two notes there are string five, string uh, three. Sorry, it's string five, fret three, and fret five. So that bit again is. And then straight back on this riff, starting on that note there. And then you repeat the same thing again, going straight up to that chord. Okay, so I'll do that bit again. So. Now the last chord, which is your A, this is the chord here, so it's, it's a diagonal again, so it's, it's um, open, you're only playing four strings, so you open string two, and then string three is uh, fret one, string four is fret two, and string five, that's your active note, so... The, the riff is. Um, what happened there is string five, fret five. Just pulling my fingers off, so you <clears throat> you hit string five, fret five, and then pull that finger off, so you got a finger on fret three, and then pull that finger off, so you got it open. So yeah, and then move your fingers down to this chord, which is a diagonal line. So it's just just four notes and bend string five upwards like that and then lift everything off so that you hear that see that um, pull off there on string five because I push that up yeah I'll lift my fingers off the chord and they don't they don't ring out but that will ring out because I've bent it upwards yeah and then the last phrase on that is uh, uh, fret five string six you can either just play those two notes, so it's string six, fret five, and then open string five, or you can add an extra note by um, just putting an, a finger on uh, string four, fret five, so it goes. So you can add that, and then it's back to that that riff again. So it's so it's the same thing. So I'll just repeat that. So it's. Um, on that pull off, just so that I can pull it off properly, I'm lifting all my fingers off that chord. So, and then um, the last two notes, are those two notes there. So that's uh, string five, fret three, 
and then fret 5 so it goes and then that's the tail end of it so that's again it's like a diagonal line but just hold down two notes so it's uh, fret 7 string 4 uh, and then fret 6 string string uh, 3 and then you toggle between those two notes and the first two strings so it goes and then the last bit is another diagonal which is possible to play with uh, with your bottle on quite easily because you can hold down at an angle that fret so it's just a diagonal line you can run it upwards like that or you can just go so I wanted to explain some nice chords you can get when you're playing slide with this tuning using diagonal lines so there's your D there's your D that's a diagonal line there so I've got um, on fret 5 I've got finger 3 on string 5 fret 5 and then fret 4 string 4 and then uh, string 3 fret 3 two frets down from that D little finger on string 1 and then running in a, a diagonal line you can make that 7th sounding chord you can also like um, like the, uh, the roof of a house you can go that way around now that is the chord that you heard or part of the chord at the end of the, at the end riff of that that's that bit there but I'm just keeping strings one and two open and there's that's, that's diagonal going that way and then the last chord you heard is diagonal line going that way okay I'll do the one verse with some bottle and some chords some bar chords just to give you a picture of how it all fits together I'm gonna ride a letter to China See if my baby's over there And she and all of them highway islands Must be in Ethiopia somewhere That's the strange lyrics from the ZZ Top um, Actually, you should see their live version um, And listen to um, their version on the Dig Wello album Because um, there's two different ways uh, Actually, quickly, there's a solo Billy Gibbons plays, which is just um, two chords. This chord. Those are two chords that he uses through the solo. Um, only he could get away with that. So it starts here. so on. Um, so that's worth looking at if you want an easy solo to play. If you're buying a blues bottle or a steel, uh, whatever you want to call it, um, glass will have the brightest sound I think. Um, chrome will have a really bright sound as well, um, pretty much the same. Um, a modular sound will come from um, from copper pipe or, or brass um, <clears throat> or, or just steel that hasn't been chromed. Um, so uh, you can get various different sounds um, and the picks, that, um, that's another thing that will sort of add your own character is the way you, you know, pick. So you could use, um, use a plectrum or um, you can get individual picks. Um, I've got some indoors, but um, people like uh, Johnny Winter uses, uh, or used, so it's gone now, used, used picks um, on, on, a, on at least a couple of fingers. Um, so like a thumb pick and um, finger picks. Um, I prefer just to use my hands, so I, I get quite a lot of expression just using just using my mitts. So um, yeah, just have a have a look around, see what you think.